So how did we meet? So we met, uh, actually you know the first time we met. She doesn't you gotta remember. Tell that. I don't when remember. I first <laughs> met her because I introduced myself, which was one of the rarer occasions um, in my adolescent uh, life. Uh, I was probably 18 when we met, but I saw her and I just thought like, I've got to meet her. I don't know if I've ever done that any other time to any other woman. I don't exactly remember that moment, but I do know that was back in, I'm sorry, I don't remember that moment. It's okay. She has a spotty memory. <laughs> okay. About, that was about 10 years ago, I guess. Yeah. No? Mm -hmm. And, um, I know Alex's family because they came to my home church in Raleigh, North Carolina to do their fine arts summer academy. And so I kind of met everyone at once, which in Alex's family is a lot of people. I kind of clung to the girls because they were around my age and, and I was still very nervous about talking to boys. And so we were both just very nervous around each other for a long time. Well, anyway, I, you know, just... after about five years, that's when I decided to make a move. I, uh, you know, I chose my moment right after she graduated college, which I knew meant she was, you know, looking for a change in life, looking maybe to move somewhere. And that meant that Nashville was a possibility. So he was very smart. I graduated college with a degree in graphic design. And so Alex thought that he would use my expertise for a new logo design. So he called me, which was like one of the best days of my life. I looked at my phone and thought, oh my gosh, Alex Wolliver is calling me. <laughs> he hired me to do this logo, which meant that we kind of made it this long process of, you know, how how is it coming along? Lots would, of revisions. Lots of revisions. It took and a so while. he would he would call me, you know, sporadically through the week and you know, how's it going? And it led from how was the logo coming to how was your day and what have you been up to and so smooth, real smooth. Very smooth. <laughs> but then once I graduated, I mean it was like full force. You were going to date me. And so the Fine Arts Summer Academy came around again, and we were determined to use every single day that we were there, um, which is kind of difficult because the academy is all day, and you're we're like working and days. teaching. But we found 16 and 17th hours to go on dates in the morning or at night. Like 6 a.m., 5 a.m., we went hiking, we would go to Starbucks. Tell them about one of the first date I ever took you on. Oh yeah. So our first evening date, which was kind of a big deal because you kind of dress up and Alex came and picked me up at this. I was staying at a woman's house who's a friend of ours um, in Nashville and a few of the other faculty members were there too along with my family. Everyone's excited for me to go on my big date with Alex Wolliver. And uh, <laughs> so we get to the restaurant and we both wanted the same entree. It was but, a good sign, but I was thinking silently, I thought, we could really be splitting right now, because, but was I about to suggest that we split? No, sir. <laughs> oh, but I had to tell, so when I got back um, to this woman's house we were staying at, it was my friend um, who opened the door. I was so excited, I came in and I told her, I'm gonna marry Alex Fulliver. <laughs> and I was so giddy and excited. <laughs> and uh, she was like, okay. <laughs> But hey, it was true. So. Give your heart and soul to me.